Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. I am sorry guys, I've been hiding something from you, but it's time to finally show you and I think you're gonna like it. It is an XJ, but it's wrecked. All right guys, here it is. This is a 2001 Jeep Cherokee XJ Limited. It has been wrecked. I've been calling it Wreck J, and I bought it for $300 for parts, as usual. Didn't want to see it go to the crusher. What are you gonna do, you know? They're 20 years old. Once they're hit or rusted or whatever, they get totaled out and sent to the scrapper. I figured I could salvage every last piece off this thing. Um, this is it. It's looking good. It's not looking great actually, but it's not it's not terrible, you know? It's kind of sad to see how things get scrapped so easily. So, some time ago I got a call from a subscriber, a local guy, and he said that he had an XJ that was in an accident. He said he was watching my videos and he was going to try to attempt to fix it himself, but he quickly got in over his head and he was going to get rid of it. So he actually reached out to me. I figured that I could part it out. I'm not really sure what I decided to do yet, but I know that I hate to see another good X-ray go to waste. And I took a good look at this thing, and I realized that I could fix it. So to be fair, I did tinker with this a little bit. I got it back to a running condition, and uh, you can see this whole front quarter is bashed. What also was bashed was the power steering pump was completely smashed up uh grill was smashed the ac condenser was smashed the uh, radiator support bracket was smashed the radiator was smashed the electric fan was smashed uh let's see what was this the mech fan was good what else was good uh not much you can see it's got it's got a terrible impact right here and this this whole bumper support was pushed in it looks like it's wrapped around the steering box. Um, the steering box is good. Uh, it's got all these crazy uh, LEDs wired up to these fog lights. Uh, these are going to have to go. But uh, yeah, so I really, really don't feel like scrapping another XJ. I, I don't have the heart after scrapping or cutting the two-door. And this has got the same issue as the two-door. This front quarter panel is uh, is bashed in beyond repair, but you can drill out all the welds, all the spot welds on these panels and replace them. So fortunately for me, the two door was bashed on that side, which means I have a whole front clip that I'm going to be scrapping and I could take this front portion from the two door, drill out these welds right here and replace this whole panel right where this goes and the damage stops at about here and <laughs> i have all the parts so this is actually going to be a really easy fix so again the air box that was crushed was right in here i reassembled everything from all the parts that i had you might remember this radiator condenser setup when i put this in the two door just to test that, I just transplanted this right here. And again, I got all the parts, I had them laying around. So I just physically put on all the parts, like for example, this air box, because the original one was crushed to pieces. So I literally just dropped in all the parts. They fit right in. The Jeep wasn't too bashed. So I was able to accept the parts with little issues i had to reattach the uh, pcm because that was smashed out of it too let it plug back in we'll rest that here the only thing that won't fit in place is the windshield wiper reservoir because the fender is just totally destroyed so i got everything back to a uh, running condition the only question is will it start so i checked its oil nothing frothy in there that means uh, it did not have a head gasket issue. And the oil, check the oil now. It is it's pretty black, so that's not great. 
but we'll change that anyway, of course. Now the question is, will this thing start? So, put a charge on the battery. Actually, I had to cut a lot of fugazi wiring, but uh, I got everything back to sort of stock for here too. And, uh, all right, will it start? And here we go, guys. The answer is yes. This baby starts right up. Let's see what the OBD2 says. Talk to me, goose. Talk to me, goose. So our OBD2 scanner, Bluetooth scanner, is plugged in. Let's see if it's got any fault codes pending. All right, here we go. So we're looking at a P1694 powertrain. This, I think, was because in the accident, the plugs were ripped out of the PCM. So it might have uh, screwed that up. And uh, EVAP leak. That's standard standard jeep issue probably broke a evap line who knows or it could be rusted away let's just uh let's clear these and we'll see if they come back down the line um there are no check engine lights so cool man 144,000 miles starting right up So yeah guys, this baby is a runner, and um, unfortunately it's a limited, which is why it was uh, parted. We got the leather seats pretty uh, pretty torn up on this side. Uh, heated seat, button gone. Passenger seat was probably good, so that's gone. We got the rear back seat, that's gone. The bottom bench is still here because it's ripped and all the door panels are missing. So this says, been parted out. Oh, and of course, the headliner and overhead console was parted out. Um, whoever did this just chopped it. And that's really sad because all you gotta do is take out the A-pillar, you gotta take out that vent, and then you're able to slide up the whole um, A-pillar piece and you can plug in your overhead console but, um, I don't know, I guess it's easier for me to repair this way. I don't know, but I do have an overhead console, and I do have the headliner. So, yeah, there's my, there's my fourth rim. I don't know. This, this is adding up quickly to a, uh, a restoration project. Uh oh this, <laughs> this driver's door is completely shot. The hinge sags about an inch. So... We'll have to address that. What else? This door. This door opens and closes nicely. But we got we got the garbage bag window. Now, I'm not sure. This might have been standard on the SE packages, not the limited. So we'll have to uh, re-upgrade uh, re this, this garbage bag window. No problem. <laughs> got some rust poking through here. Let's see. This piece has been parted take out nope that's not there either take a look at the tailgate oh look at this mod liking this mod <laughs> oh man so we got the interior panels um looks like it came with a bunch of parts hey we got the infinity sound system there we go i wonder if this is factory this looks big like a like a zj i don't know i'll have to check that part number um Headlights, these are nice aftermarket speakers. Here we go. We've got it sun visors, fan shroud. What is this? Hey, we do have the window. <laughs> it just doesn't have a frame, but I got plenty of those in the basement somewhere. Uh, still, not a bad XJ. What to do, what to do, guys? Can we, uh, can we restore this thing? I don't know, make it Project Swimmer Dude? 
<laughs> and check this out guys look at these rims I'm zooming in here we got factory Jeep XJ 1989 to 1996 10 hole wheels a whole set of four of them the two here I got the one on the trunk and one on the other side uh, we also have geez I think I had these on my 93 Country. We got those running boards, so that's pretty cool. Not sure what's up with the uh, with that top piece. That's not great, but uh, I don't know. We could get rid of that or sell that, leave it stock. This is not great either. We have rust spots, bed rot in the rocker panels. We'll have to do some work on that. We got more of this. Look at this, Ugh, rocker rust. This is bad. This is this is fully rotted through. Oh yeah, she's sponge cake, baby. So we'll definitely take off these running boards. We'll do a a rocker replacement. Uh, we got some some door rust. It's probably not pretty down there. Yeah, we're gonna need to uh, pour 15 that too. I've seen worse. Not terrible. Ah. Uh, while we're here, let's crawl underneath. Uh, yeah, we got some floor pan rot. Excellent. Excellent. Frame rails are pretty tight. Let's see. Little crumbles here. This ain't bad. Not too bad at all. Um, we are <laughs> we're missing front shocks. <laughs> Look at that. That's excellent. Great, great thing to part out. Nice. Didn't even realize that. Um, springs, stock springs. I don't know. We'll have to go through every single piece in here. Yeah. Definitely got a little bit of rust in here covered with some gloss spray paint this whole thing needs a pour 15 nice huh looking pretty crusty what are the chances <laughs> yep yep that figures yikes oh my goodness oh my goodness I don't know, that's definitely uh, uh, a negative <laughs> con. Yeah, we'll just put that right back. Don't want to look at that. Don't want that influencing our decisions at all. No, no, no. We want to make crazy decisions based on no information. Let's see. All right, the roof is good. You know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna chop off all this rust and rot, replace all the metal that I can with scraps from my uh, big XJ project, because a lot of good scrap metal there, then I could just rhino line this whole thing. Maybe Raptor liner. That stuff would work great. Have some colored Raptor liner, make this look badass, fix all the rot, and complete this baby. I don't know. Could be a project. Could be. Coming around, we got Black Beauty's old fender. Not too long ago, I did a fender swap video. I took the good fender from this, I smashed it, <laughs> and I put it on Black Beauty. It had a ding, dang it, but uh, what are you gonna do? So, I got a fender for here. Well, this fender will be here. Uh, I have a header panel, at, it's actually right here. I got a header panel, I got a cowl piece. I think I have Another fender in the basement from my brother's wrecked XJ. Um, I got I got a couple radiators. So I have everything. I have every. I even have a hood. Uh, I got a hood over here. Let's see. You know what? We'll just take a look inside my parts garage. This is like half my parts in here. Ah, coming in here. Here we go. Another header panel. Oh, uh, geez, heater cores, dashboards. Um, here we go. Here is an overhead console. I got everything, guys. Um, obviously the headliner. This was from, uh, Beach Jeep. 
I got some back seats I could put back seats in and I think I have matching gray sport seats um oh here we go here is two more limited rear door cards I got everything guys so what do you think should I part this thing out or should I build it I think this would be an interesting build it would be a challenge definitely it, it runs so I'm sure it drives that would be uh, that would be the hardest part getting it running and driving and it does that so um, <laughs> yeah I'm definitely gonna have to replace this one no wonder why they didn't take it it's bashed so I could replace this with that set right there have everything this would be a really interesting build guys I don't know um, maybe I'll take a vote from you guys leave me your thoughts in the comments and we'll see what we could do so that's it guys this could be project rec j if you want to see me build it let me know i think it would be very interesting a very uh very worthwhile challenge to resurrect this scrapped xj destined for the crusher i don't know what i'm gonna do with another xj so i'm thinking this could be your xj one of you guys could have this when i'm done with it uh maybe i'll auction it i'll auction it for funds to build beach jeep that's still being built. It's taking way longer than I thought. Um, but anything worthwhile ain't easy. So maybe I'll, uh, we'll have an auction. You guys could have a custom built Dan H XJ. And uh, the funds, the proceeds from that will go right back to the channel towards, uh, towards my new XJ build. So this could be a quick little restoration, a little resurrection, <laughs> resurrect project, rex. Bleh. <laughs> We can resurrect Project Rec J. I I don't know. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know. I think it would be a lot better than seeing me scrap another Jeep. I hate doing that. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. Let me know, guys. What do you think? Should I bring this thing back to life? It already runs and drives. It didn't take too long to do that. So that's it, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, share this video mash that like button and all that other silly stuff they say oh yeah make sure you put that little bell on so you get the notifications for when the videos come out helps me help you or whatever so <laughs> that's it guys thanks for watching another episode of the project and we're gonna kick off a rec j series uh in whatever direction you choose to scrap or to fix uh that is the question all right peace